Greetings, it's New Zealand naturopath Eric Backer, author of Candida Crusher and formulator of Candida, the Candida dietary supplements of choice. Thanks for tuning into my video. Today we're going to talk about biofilm eradication. So you may have seen some of my other videos explaining about biofilms, how they are basically micro colonies that form of bacteria, yeast, or even a combination of both of those. And they live in various parts of the body. They can live in the nose, they can cause dental plaque, they can be involved in vaginal yeast infection, jock itch, uh, in the gut, you know, many other areas of the body, uh, these colonies can form and they cover themselves with a particular type of a layer and that's what they call a biofilm. They can be hard to eradicate. So biofilm eradication really requires a multi-stage approach. You're not going to really nail this thing just with one thing. Taking a pill isn't really going to cut it. You need to do a little bit more than that. So let's just go over a few different things you can really do uh, to help eradicate biofilm, right? So we have to really prevent the biofilm formation in the first place. <coughs> so we have to really disrupt the attachment of the biofilm to the surface that it's adhered to. We have to also uh, interfere with what we call quorum sensing. So quorum sensing is something I've spoken about in a previous video. This is how basically how the bugs communicate with each other inside these colonies. So for a colony to really thrive, it has to, there has to be a lot of cooperation going on. Food has to go into the colony and waste have to be transported out, uh, you know, and they have to reproduce quite effectively. And uh, quorum sensing is a, is a sort of a complicated term explaining really how that cooperation occurs. So we've got to disrupt this cooperation. We have to modulate the type of biofilm, right? So what we've got to do is shift the biofilm to planktonic bacteria. So I've spoken previously about what planktonic bacteria are and biofilm. So think about planktonic bacteria really as, or yeast as like yeast or bacteria floating freely versus the biofilm where they live in colonies. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we want to do is shift the film into the planktonic type so the immune system can really nail these little things getting around in the bloodstream and we've got to promote detachment of the biofilm to break the biofilm up so we have to disrupt the shield and you know the, the actual shield so think of it like a glass dome and you've got a, a city living inside a glass dome you've got to smash this dome break it so we can get in there all right and pull these buildings apart so mechanical or physical means, and also there's herbal medicines I, I recommend, you know, that I use uh, that are very effective in smashing the shield and helping to pulverize these buildings down. And then the last one is uh, development of biofilm resistant surfaces. So what we want to really do is give uh, good kinds of probiotics to help to really stop uh, attachment of these bugs onto these surfaces to build the biofilm all over again. As I've mentioned previously, people often with very low levels of beneficial bacteria that I see in stool tests are much more prone to serious biofilm formation. I see that routinely in stool tests. So there are many different types of herbs that I use for a biofilm eradication. And I developed a product for Candida, but it also works beautifully for biofilm eradication. And that's called Candida Remove. Now it contains all the key things in it you want really. And I'll explain more about these kinds of herbal medicines in subsequent videos. So, but you really want to get a good standardized garlic extract. You want to get um, oregano oil. You want to get grapefruit seed extract. You know, you want to use different kinds of herbs which are specifically indicated for working on bacteria uh, and on candida. And they're going to help to break the shield down, disrupt the quorum communication, kill directly, you know, eradicate, inhibit reproduction. Uh, muck up the food supply. All these things are going to really be um, achieved by giving a very good balanced herbal formula in a time release uh, you know, product. And that's why I developed Candida Remove because I knew that most people with Candida, serious Candida infections, in fact, have got biofilm. So anyone with chronic Candida will almost certainly have a biofilm in their digestive system that needs eradicating and in other parts of their body as well. And in Candida Crusher, my book, you can actually read about chapter five for women, for example, and men explains about, you know, how to remove, uh, you know, infections, you know, jock itch, for example, vaginal infection. There are other parts in my book where I explain how to get rid of, you know, Candida on the skin and also in the mouth and, and in the nose and around the scalp and other areas as well. So you really want to eradicate biofilms by working topically on the hot spots. 
by working with the proper nutrition and, and you know, stopping the obviously food supply by taking out the sugars and yeast from the diet and uh, by looking at your lifestyle. I've really made many videos to explain to you about adrenal fatigue and how thyroid and adrenal dysfunction will cause a problem with your immune system. And this problem in turn will prevent your, your body's ability to naturally eradicate these biofilms by producing sufficient amounts of, of hormones like cortisol to amp up the immune system. So you need to really understand that biofilm eradication is a holistic treatment. One pill won't cut it. You need to really, if you want to cure this thing and get rid of it, you're going to do it the right way. Check out yeastinfection.org or look at my book, Candida Crusher. And also check out canzida.com with the X. So canzida. Now that product is perfect for biofilm. I'd like you to take anywhere between one to three tablets per day with food for about three months. With serious biofilm, you might need to be on it for longer, even up to six months. So that's a great uh, a biofilm eradicator. So thanks for tuning into my video today.